My name is Greg Kaplan. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, uh, born and raised. Uh, I am the founder and CEO of Remote Year. Remote Year is a program of 75 professionals from all over the world that travel together for a year while working remotely. So we go to 12 places for one month each, and in each of these places, we really set up and have a great experience together, but the point of it is really the community, the group of people that travel together. If you want to set yourself up in a position to be successful finding remote work, the best place to look is where you are already. I would guess that most of the things that you do can be done remotely, and you just have to figure out if your role can be shifted a little bit to make all of the things that you do able to be done remotely. Um, people are way more successful working with their current employer to transition that into a remote role than finding a new role. Because you already have built trust, you really understand the organization, you understand the role, so that you can do a great job in that role remotely, because my guess is most of the things you do are already remote. And if that doesn't work and, you do, and that can't happen, um, the second best way to find uh, a situation where you're going to be successful working remotely is reaching out through your network and your connections to find something that fits your unique background and skill sets. You have the most understanding of the functional space that you're in and you have deep connections with people already. So turning to those people and finding out how you can be helpful remotely with whatever they're doing and taking that relationship and that trust that you already have and forging that into a remote relationship is one of the best places to start. Um, I don't recommend you start with remote job boards because you have no connection to them and you probably don't find jobs that match your background and skill set. So I would start with your network and look for things that match your specific unique background and skill set and you'll be most likely to be successful finding something there. Across the board we've seen to be a successful digital nomad you need to have an, a passion for what you're doing and you need to have an internal locus of motivation. People who are internally motivated and are get their great work done no matter what, they become great remote workers. People who are bad workers who aren't motivated internally and need to be micromanaged by their boss, they're not good employees to begin with and they make really bad remote workers. It's very difficult to micromanage somebody abroad. But if somebody's getting great work done already and they don't need to be micromanaged, they usually become really, really strong remote workers.